In this video, you're going to learn how to find the remaining factors of a polynomial when you're given one of the factors. So let's dive into this problem. We've got f of x equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x minus 8, and they're telling us that x plus 2 is a factor. What does that mean, x plus 2 is a factor? It means that this will divide in evenly into this polynomial without any remainder. Now, when a factor divides into a polynomial without any remainder, that means that if you were to set this equal to zero, okay, x plus two equal to zero, you get x equals negative two. Negative two is a zero. What that means is it's gonna cross the x-axis when you graph this polynomial at negative two. Now, when you do the synthetic division, if your factor is x plus two, over here, you're gonna put negative two. If it was x minus two, then you would put positive two. So it's like the opposite sign, or you can think of it as you know, putting the zero in here. So now when we do the synthetic division, we're going to use the coefficients, 1x cubed, 5x squared, 2x, and negative 8. Keep in mind, if you're missing any of the terms, like if I went from x cubed to x to the first and I skipped over x squared, I have to have to put a zero there as a placeholder. So you want to go in descending order. You always drop down that first number, you multiply on the diagonal, and you add straight down. You multiply on the diagonal, and you add straight down, multiply on the diagonal, add straight down. This last one is our remainder. In this case, there's zero remainder, which is what we expected because we knew that x plus two is a factor. And when you do the synthetic division, you go down by one degree. So you go from x cubed down to x squared in descending order. Now what we can do is we can factor this further. We can say what two numbers multiply to negative four but add to positive three, that's gonna be positive four and negative one. See four x and negative one x adds up to three x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and we get our x squared back. So these are our remaining factors, x plus 4 and x minus 1. If you want to write the complete linear factorization, we could then add on x plus 2 here. So if we were to multiply all this together, we'd get back that original polynomial. If you wanted to graph it now, by setting all these factors equal to 0, you get the zeros or the x-intercepts. So we know it's going to cross at negative 2, negative 4, and positive one, we know the leading coefficient is positive, so it's gonna go up to the right. We know it's an odd degree, it's three, so it's gonna go the opposite way to the left. All these zeros occurred only once, and you can get a good sketch of your polynomial function. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to graph polynomial functions and using the rational root theorem and synthetic division and kind of like put it all together, you can follow me over to that video right there where I dive into more examples like these. I'll see you in that video.